Hey everyone, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. So don't you just hate it when you're playing a game and you do something stupid and all of a sudden you die, right? And then you lost a life and you have to try it again. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the rewind function on handheld devices so you don't have to deal with lost lives all the time. So for example, instead of getting killed by this little Goomba or whatever this animal is, I can choose to just smash it instead. Or if I wanna be a bit of a pacifist, I can rewind it again and then choose to spare its life. So that's one of the neat things about this feature is that you're able to go back and fix some of your mistakes, unlike in real life. And additionally, I'll show you how to use the fast forward function. So if you're playing a game and you just wanna kinda of get through a certain part, I'll show you how to set that up as well. And this guide will work on any handheld system that uses RetroArch as its backend. So any RG351 device, or maybe the RGB10 like you see here, or even the Retroid Pocket 2. So without any further delay, let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to open up RetroArch on its own, not through a game, but just actually opening up the RetroArch system itself. And that'll depend on whatever system and firmware you're using. Here I'm using ArcOS with the RGB10, so it has its own RetroArch menu. So I'm just gonna open it up from there. Once you're in here, go over to the Settings tab, and then scroll down until you find the Frame Throttle setting. This is where you're gonna set up Rewind and Fast Forward. We're gonna focus on Rewind here. So just select Rewind and make sure that Rewind Support is turned on. Another thing to think about is how many frames you want to rewind. So for example, if you keep it on one, it's just going to go back in the same amount of time that you were going forward. If you set it to two, it'll go back twice as fast as you were playing earlier. You can also set the buffer size so that you can rewind for longer. But honestly, I would just start with the default settings and then tweak it if you don't like it from there. Now further in these frame throttle settings, you can actually go through and change your fast forward settings. But honestly, it's already set to the fastest fast forward possible. So I would just leave that as default too. Really all you need to do is just turn on the rewind function. Once you have the rewind turned on, let's set some hotkeys so that way you can turn it on easily. So go into the input settings and then go under hotkeys. Make sure your hotkey enable is set to whatever you want it to be. Typically it's going to be the select button, but all you have to do is hit A and then pick whatever button you want. I'm going to use the minus button on this device because it has separate function buttons. So let's set the fast forward one first. So all you do is hit A and then pick whatever button you want. I like to use R2, so I'm going to use that there. Now bear in mind there's a toggle fast forward as well as a hold fast forward. The toggle one just means you tap it to turn it on and tap it to turn it off. The hold one means you'd have to hold it down the entire time you want to fast forward. It's up to you. I prefer to use the toggle one, but you do whatever you like. Now let's scroll down and find the rewind one. This one doesn't have a toggle function. It's only a hold button. I like to use R2 for this one. It just kind of makes sense to me. You know, L2 rewind, R2 fast forward. That's it, once you've figured out whatever hotkeys you like, go into the main menu, go to configuration file, and then save current configuration. And you're done, now you have rewind working as well as your hotkey set. Go ahead and quit RetroArch at this point. Okay, so let's test it out in some games. I think Mega Man 2 is the perfect example. This is definitely a game that benefits from having a rewind function. So say you're just running through the game and you just happen to fall into hot lava, happens to everybody. Just go ahead and hit your hotkey and then hold it down and it'll rewind it however long you want. And then when you let go, it'll immediately resume to where you were. And here it is again, I just can't stop falling into hot lava. At that point, all you have to do is just rewind again. Okay, so let's test out the fast forward function. I think this works really well with the role playing games. So here we are with Dragon Warrior on the NES, and you can see I'm just toggling on fast forward, and now the text is moving super fast. That's really it, so it's just an easy way to get through some of those boring parts. Here we are with Pokemon on the Game Boy Color, and you can see it's running at a regular 60 frames per second. I turn on fast forward and all of a sudden it's almost 500 frames per second. It's lightning fast. It's kind of hard to control, but if you're really trying to get through a part, this is going to be an easy way to travel. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I hope you enjoy this rewind and fast forward function, and I'd love it if you liked and subscribed if you found this helpful for you. We'll see you next time. Happy gaming.